So there's been a lot going on lately. Uh, Friday at Davenport Speedway, we won the heat race and the feature. Uh, that was definitely awesome. Felt good to win. Um, definitely one of the hardest races I've ever run in my life. <laughs> the track was really slick, so you had to be extra careful. Uh, there's definitely no room for mistakes, and it was extremely intimidating to see Jeremy's fender every single lap right below me. Um, thankfully though, we pulled it off and we got the win. Um, so yeah, that was awesome. Uh, Saturday night, of course I didn't race. Um, Sunday, first I had to graduate. Um, well, technically I graduated in January, I was all done, but uh, I actually went through commencement on Sunday. So I got my diploma and it is signed, I uh, promise. <laughs> Um, so from there we went to East Moline, got third in my heat race, uh, sixth in the feature, definitely hard race, not just because it was kind of slick, but, um, it was really dusty and the sun was shining just right in three and four. You couldn't see a thing going into three and four. It was kind of scary. Uh, I had to go to the back once. Um, I literally said driving around the track, going to the green after I went to the back. I was like, what the heck am I doing? But thankfully, uh, we didn't get very much damage, and I finished sixth. So, yeah, that was good. <laughs> um, we've been working on the late model a lot lately. Actually, I'm supposed to be down there right now working on it. <laughs> um, Tim, which is our, he's our body man, he actually broke his wrist and damaged some tendons uh, at work so he's just kind of helping me he's telling me what to do and I'm doing it so it's not going to be very pretty <laughs> but um, I got a wrap to go over it anyway so yeah, who cares um, yeah so I, I'm hoping that we have that out in the next two or three weeks probably go to Makokoda but maybe Independence um, I don't know. We'll find out. I'll let you guys know. Um, what else? Oh, I got some new Emily Gotti racing bags. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw that. Um, there's one right here. Hold on. I actually have two different kinds. This one, which doesn't have my logo on it, but has an extra pocket and a little bit lighter weight and then this one which is waterproof and it's pretty heavy duty uh, they're both ten dollars but they're pretty awesome just throw stuff in there um, yeah I also got tattoos so um, if you stop by and see me after the races and you want a tattoo just tell me I'll give you one they're free <laughs> so those are pretty awesome just trying to do some stuff to I don't know. I just want to be cool. Uh, um, I'm also getting new shirts sometime soon. The guy is supposed to be emailing me with a design sometime this week. So hopefully soon we'll get them done. Um, I wasn't, I, I really didn't think this would go over too well. But um, I'm getting pink shirts along with, of course, the bright yellow and dark gray again. But um, I've seen a huge demand for the pink shirts already, so I might have to order more. I don't know. But um, I'm also going to get more youth sizes. I'm going to try to get like youth small, which is like smaller than I've ever gotten before. And i um, uh, also going to get some of the bigger sizes, and hopefully I don't run out this time. They're going to be awesome. They're going to have my car on them on the front and the back. And I'm also going to have one of my senior pictures on there, I think. Uh, I'm going all out because this is my last year before I go to college and I won't be able to race around here anymore. So, yeah, they're going to be awesome. So, I don't know how much they're going to cost yet. I'll have to wait and see how much I get charged uh, from shirts and stuff. Um, but, yeah, I think they're going to be cool. So, other than that, I can't think of anything else. Yeah, so, alright, bye.